One of the two men, DSS Kill's house was a blind man. About two months after the Department of State Service stormed the Ibadan home of Yoruba Nation agitator Sunday Igbeho, more facts have emerged on the identities of the two people killed during the operation. The DSS had said that the two were killed during a gun duel, but lawyer to Igbeho, Ola Jengbesi, has said that the disease did not involve in any battle against the security operative. According to him, one of them was actually blind, noting that it was the disability that left him stranded. Speaking after the release of eight of the 12 people arrested by the DSS, Elijah Ngbisi said the people that SSS claimed that they killed in gun duel. Those people were actually hiding during the battle, trying to prevent themselves from being killed because any room the DSS operative entered, they sprayed bullets. Those people were harmless, they were hiding and they were in the dark. As a matter of fact, one of the persons killed was because he was blind, he couldn't see. Two persons were killed, one was blind, one was in the bathroom hiding. They got in there and spread bullets. The two persons killed have been identified as Said as Disa, popularly called Adagon, also Ibuho's maternal uncle known as Afa. Hmm. This DSS, and we all know that they can lie. They can lie for Africa. That is why Ibuho said when they came to his house that he saw the people that came, or else they would have, if Ibuho had been killed that night, they would have identified the killers as unknown gunmen but when Igbo saw the people and they knew that they couldn't kill Igbo or capture him they labeled it on dss that's when they now said it was dss that raided the apartment <laughs> these people they are something else let's go to the comment section here people's take on this those who killed innocent blind man have murdered peace and they will sleep no more they will never see peace all the days of their lives they and their generation to come in jesus name hmm. almighty god will visit this terrorist government led by buhari with his rot god will punish all your family why you you insult buhari ah, someone has answered you and said you are a cow hmm. someone here is saying when you have terrorist government ruling any country every innocent person becomes their target god must punish all those still supporting buhari and his full and his government terrorists a blind man imagine kill him for nothing sake i pray the blood of innocent man shall haunt every one of them hmm. haunt the family hmm. dss devil's secret strikers are everything evil these governments and its agents they will regret of their action international crime courts will judge this cause this is wickedness they are all wicked people and god almighty will punish them those who take advantage of others informa deformatives especially blindness are caused one day they will go totally blind and be struck and what and why a great evil hmm. wow wonderful they went to that house in vengeance gone battle indeed what is it that this the jungle nigerian government is well developed in lies and modern in core white black it is very sad that we voted for terrorists hmm. just imagine this they killed an innocent blind man for no just cause for no reason we all knew that everything the DSS had said about Igbeho's house was a lie. All those guns they paraded were all planted guns. We knew that everybody in Nigeria knew that they were lying. If Igbeho had all those guns like they claimed, why didn't Igbeho kill any of those Fulanis that they were chasing from Ibarapa? 
Igboho never did anything of such. Instead, they were only chasing them with sticks that they should leave their land. They never did anything to those if they had those guns like they claimed. Because those fellow like how they brutally murdered people in farms. So why would they lie that Igboho has guns with him? When you talk about champs, Igboho himself used to boast about it. He used to say that he has champs. But Igboho never talked about having guns to kill innocent people. So why would they lie that they found guns in Igboho's house? They were all planted guns and we knew. They were now telling us that there was exchange of bullets. That was also can a blind man fight with gun? <laughs> These people, they can lie. They said those people that they killed were shooting sporadically at them and they want out to retaliate. That was when those two people died. But now the the question there is if that man was a blind man how was he shoot at the dss that is the number one question secondly why did they have to take away the cctv footage from them because they don't want anybody to saw to see or know anything that happened in that house on that very faithful day that is the main reason why they had to go away with the cctv footage so that nobody will be able to see what happened and they came about telling like they found guns in the Buhu's house, they found this, they found that. These were all lies. Killing innocent people under the pretext that you are fighting for government is no excuse. God is not mocked for whatever a man sows. They shall he reap. I laugh whenever I see these people doing gra gra with their guns, menacing, threatening, spilling innocent blood. You are not the government with will account. For your misdeeds hmm. government will not will for your misdeeds to in the man's dude he shall get back in thousand folds ye shall all result that is it those that commit atrocity at igboho's house though though that they had have satisfied their minds but god says no sinner shall go unpunished their generation will suffer what they have done hmm. it just pains me that their innocent will just collect courses for no reason for something they know nothing about for having bad parents that is it or else why would they go to who is just agitating for a republic of their own you went to their community you went to the man's house at that ungodly hour of the night you went into his compound uninvited and you started shooting at everybody in the house that means they went in there like criminals like assassins who wanted to kill somebody that is their main motive exactly was to kill igboho that is justice no any other way to don't let us beat around the bush that, that is what they wanted to do exactly but when they didn't get igboho they now said and the dss only raided that house because they got information about some lies like that well you can go to the conversation and share your take on this article thanks for listening